Dear Sir, Norman returned home in December 1915 after an absence of 14 months, wounded in the back of the head by shrapnel. He carries a trophy on his watch chain, one at Gallipoli, in the shape of a bullet taken out of his head. He held the rank of Lance Corporal and was working under Dr. Goldsmith. Yours very truly, A. Bennett. Like many from the University of Adelaide community, Norman put his life on hold to join the war effort in 1914. Time would soon reveal the true horrors from the front lines and the cost of the war at home and abroad. We'll never forget the great sacrifices of our former students and staff. Art student, Lieutenant Gordon Albert Munro, enlisted weeks after war was declared and was one of the first Anzacs to land at Gallipoli on the 25th of April, 1915. Gordon would never complete his degree, dying in action just hours after landing. He was 20 years old. Medical graduate Dr Phoebe Chapel is one of three women on the university's Great War role of service. Frustrated with the Army's refusal to appoint women for overseas duties, she left Adelaide to join the war from England and was one of the first female doctors to serve on the front line. 1915 Nobel Prize winner and graduate William Lawrence Bragg applied his talent to a groundbreaking area of research during the First World War. He successfully developed sound ranging methods to locate enemy guns and was awarded the Military Cross. The Cloisters in the northwestern corner of our main campus was built as a memorial to the more than 500 members of the university community who served in the Great War and over 70 who gave their lives for their country. The building was designed to be a place of thought and quiet reflection for future generations to remember and to honour, lest we forget.